Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the importance of collection in Power Apps. Uh, here we're going to see how to create a collection, then how to bring the data from data source and collect inside the collection. And then we'll use this collection as a data source to our gallery control. And inside the gallery control, instead of using standard templates, design templates, instead of that, we will uh, create empty template. And then as per our need, as per our custom uh, requirement, we'll bring controls inside the gallery controls. So all these things we are going to see in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, I need to connect my Power Apps application with my data source. So here I'm using Dataverse table and inside Dataverse table, I created one table called customer. So first that table is I have not added into this collections uh, into this application. So I need to add this. So first I need to click on add button and then search for my table. This is my table I'm adding here. All right, so my table is got added to my Power Apps application. So first I need to go to the designer view and this is my screen. So uh, so far as a best practice, I want um, uh, I want my collection to be load only once. I, I So for this purpose, what I'm going to do, so this is my on visible state of my screen. So here I'm going to write my collection. So for writing a collection, I need to use clear collect method. This is my method. And I need to give some meaningful name called yeah, customer new. And then this is my collection name and then I need to provide the data source. So here uh, I'll right now for this only for this uh, video, I'll go into keep it as a simple and simply provide the data source name. This is my table name. Uh, inside the collection, you can write uh, some complex filters also. You can do ascending and ordering filtering also. But here in this video, I'll just going to keep it as simple. So what it does, clear collect method, what it does, every time whenever my page will load, it will clear all the data in my, in the collection uh, in this uh, uh, in this variable. And then it will bring the data from data source and again, populate data inside the collection. So this is the thing that I need to. So this is simple thing that I did. And let me again click on this page to just load all the data and let's see. I'm, I collect the data or not. So let's double click on this variable. Okay, so you can see it will collect all the data from customer table and populate inside this collection. Right, so this uh, we done with this, then I need to design. Uh, so here, if I go to the gallery control. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is my gallery control. So you can see here various uh, templates are already been there. So I'm not going to use any standard template instead of I'm, I'm trying to use a blank template. So I simply going to for this blank template. All right. And the intention is was like, like I just wanted to show you the design of uh, gallery control and how to bind the collection inside the gallery control. So first thing I need to do is go to the collect, go to this gallery control and I need to give some meaningful name first. So yeah, gal customer. So this is my unique name for my gallery. And this is the item property here. I need to provide the data source name. So my data source is collection, uh, which I just newly created called customer new. So I provide data source. So that's so it will bring the data into my collection. Now, now I need to design my team, design my gallery control. So how do I design? So simply I create one label. Uh, this is just a header labels. Uh, so let me company name. So initially I bring bringing data from the customer table where I have the collection of companies. So according to that, I'll go into chalk out the column names. So this is my, I, I'm just creating a header here and after that, I just I was giving good color. Yeah. All right. And my font color would be white. And I'll make it as little bit bold. Okay. All right. Font but it's normal. I'll make it bold. All right. So, and then rest of the thing I just need to copy paste. So this one here company name All right. and i quickly go back to my table and see what columns i have company name then i can get uh, city state and country 
so yeah city state country then i also want few more important column like total headcount of the company how many people are working Count. then i also need total revenue this is one more column total revenue, total revenue. and then i will also need total revenue uh, how many columns we have okay expert is founded on okay fine we can use and on what date this company is got found created i'll just uh, yeah i'll just slightly make some changes uh yeah so which is this look like better so yeah company name this is founded on then total headcount and what is a total revenue and where this company is is located and finally system created on that field just to make sure this is the last column created created all okay so i just designed one header control here and and this is my gallery control so i little bit i'll just place little above up here all right so now i have a design now it's time to add few control inside the gallery so here we have option to add our controls here so i'll simply add text columns so this is my text that I'll be going to add over here. Yeah. All right. And then I will simply need to copy and paste. This is for founded on. Right. And this is for total headcount. It goes here. And then it's for total revenue. Let's go up there. For city and this for state, this is for country, and finally, this is for our created on when this record got created. All right, so this is all the basic thing that we need to do. Now it's time to add one more control, uh, which is uh, which is which is a line i will show you the why i'm going to add this control because uh, in normal scenario we need to look like as a table so that's why this is pretty much important to add so here i'm using rectangle control and simply drag from here to there so it look like a simple line look like this okay so let me go to property give border one so yeah, and height should be good. Okay, now it looks good. All right, now from here, uh, we need to do some slight changes, like, you know, uh, yeah, go to the gallery control. And here we have a concept called template height. So here now it's showing template height 570, but we don't need that much height. So I just make it as a 50. So now, as you can see, it's now it looks like a little bit of the shape of a grid a gallery table looks now uh, it's the the uh, the basic design of the grid has been completed we have added header controls so where we added header controls it's just about the uh, gallery control and then inside the gallery control we have added a few controls uh, label controls here now it's time to give some column name so this is company name so i just need to provide the column name yeah so this is this property so this item name what it does so it will goes to the uh, row of the uh, collection and then whatever the uh, inside the collection we have the collection of columns so it will just uh, bring the column name 
inside the collection so this is how to invoke that uh, column name we need to use this item so you can see i just added the company name and then we need to use again founded on founded yeah so this is for the founded on oops yeah now total head counts we'll go to see yeah total employee then for revenue we need to again check for the revenue just so this is my field name total revenue and then for city so guys uh, for city uh, here my city column is a lookup column and if i simply bind the lookup column so it will use me the this error message so why is giving me error message because we cannot directly use lookup so first we need to provide the column name of lookup and then we need to use dot operator in then uh, this dot operator helps me to redirect to the table where uh, my relation is and from here i can bring that column name so by this way you can uh, do it same thing oops why it's giving me the total revenue okay fine fine i haven't added total revenue okay and here yeah total employee The same thing I need, I need to do it for state because state is also lookup in this table. So I need to use column name, lookup column name, and then, yeah, lookup column name. And then from that uh, lookup, it will go to my table, related table and bring the name for me. And then for country, again, country is, a, country is my lookup column and from lookup it will redirect me to the related table and from there it will bring the name okay so that's right and finally our final column is created on so i simply provided the column name created on its system column but yeah i need to remove these dots because created right okay all right so uh, the basic thing we have done as you can see we have just simply create one table and uh, uh, just uh, sorry we just created one collection this is our collection uh, or we have added this collection on visible form and initially just bring the data from the data source and put it inside the collection and then we'll use this gallery control and inside the item prop items property of our gallery we have simply added the control and then once we have done then we have added few controls and inside the controls we added some columns over here so this is how you can design our simple gallery uh, where uh, it, it it will uh, looks like as per your customer need or as per your uh, custom requirement of uh, ui design you can do it like this so this is how we can do we can design the control so here uh, as you can see uh, right now this founded on total uh, headcounts and total revenue are like even you know in the creator on column so those are not formatted so we're for this coming next video i'll going to show you how to format the date field currency field uh, we'll add some more complex column like choices columns where we need to if you want to show the drop downs or how can we add the drop down if you want to show the text box how can we add it so those kind of com complex things that we are going to see you in the next video so i hope you like this video and if you like it so please like and comment my channel so it will give, motivates me to create some more videos for you guys thanks thanks everyone